Guys, what's going on? There was a fight last night. Jason Quigley taking a beating, taking his first professional loss. Unbelievable. It's an upset. It's an upset. Now, Quigley uh, is a very, it was a hot prospect. Many people thought he'd go on to become world champion and he suffered a huge setback. A huge setback. Um, he got beat up by a guy called Tarillo Johnson, I believe. Um, it was a beat down. It wasn't just that. It wasn't he wasn't, he lost. He got beat up in the fight. Um, according to the reports, um, he was really badly beat up, you know, from, from, from round one to round nine, when I believe he got stopped, uh, Dominic Ingle pulling him out, uh, he completely looked out of sorts and was getting beat down. Now, Jason Quigley is somebody that, you know, Dominic Ingle had high hopes for. Uh, you know, he said he had many competitive rounds with, with sparring or Bill, with Billy Joe, who we know is a, a super middleweight, an ex-middleweight champion. Um, and it's just surprising because this, you know, like, like I said, we all were led to believe that this guy was going to go on to become world champion. But he's taken a setback. Now we've got to see what he's made of, what character he's got. You know, what is he all about? Is he going to have the drive? Is he going to have the motivation to come back? I think he will because he hasn't really achieved... Um, a huge amount in boxing. Normally, if he had become world champion or he had reached the mountain top, then you could probably say he probably won't have the motivation and drive anymore because he's reached the mountain top. Does it, you know he's made a lot of money? Whereas in Quigley's case, that's not the case. He's a hot prospect that's taken a massive that's been derailed. Um, is he going to be able to come back? Um, you know, we we've had guys before that have you know taken losses and come back. Uh, it's not the end of the world when you take a loss, but it depends on your character, depends on on how much you want it. And now we're going to find out what how much Jason Quigley wants this uh, because it's a huge setback for him, uh, a fight that he was expected to win um, and he's taken a, he's taken a loss. So uh, we're going to find out a lot, especially the middleweight division. You know, he was talking a couple of days ago about him becoming a world uh, middleweight world champion, that he's going to become world champion. Uh, that's taken a massive hit and, you know, he's been, probably been set back a couple of years, maybe one or two years now, um, becoming world champion. It probably would have taken him that time to become world champion anyway because, you know, he probably wasn't ready for the top boys, you know, or he definitely wasn't ready for the top boys on that performance. But, you know, uh, it's it's a reality check. Um, you know, they know what they've got to work on. They know the mistakes that they made and they've got, uh, got to get an instant rematch with this guy. And look to put the right wrong. Look to put the wrongs right in the rematch. You know, so um, I think you know Jason Quigley's a good fighter. Uh, a one loss doesn't define you or make you a bad fighter. It's just you know it can happen. It's uh, it's how you perform on that given day. You know you might be a better team or you might be a better fighter than than somebody, but it's how you perform on that given day. Uh, that's why Floyd Mayweather used to say every time we go into that ring, it, you know your your reputation doesn't count for nothing. Your record doesn't count for nothing because you're starting afresh. You're starting anew on that day and you've got to perform on that day. And unfortunately for Quigley, he wasn't able to do it. And, you know, he, he ended up taking an L, his first loss of his career, which can be devastating and hard to come back from because you've never tasted defeat before. So it's always harder to take when you take that first loss because you've never lost before. Uh, some people will say it's a weight off your shoulders, but it can also be quite demoralizing. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. If you saw the fight, let me know what you think. Uh, what do you think next for Jason Quigley? Do you think it's an instant rematch? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.